There's a proposal on the table to build five row style homes at a small strip of land in Riverside and it's already strapped for parking in that area. The plans include no extra parking for the two story homes that would be built between the Stockton Street Town Center and the John Gorey condominiums. News for Jack's consumer investigator Tiffany Salome combed through the 43 page letter sent to city attorneys questioning the developers right to build on the vacant lot. In a letter addressed to the city of Jacksonville's chief deputy general counsel, a local attorney argues that a well-known developer does not have the full rights to develop on this 0.23-acre strip of land. Sean P. Walsh is the lawyer behind the letter. Walsh said he personally took it upon himself to start investigating after learning about the John Gorey Investment Group's plan to build several homes, 1,600 square foot homes, on this small strip of land in Riverside. Now we use sketches submitted with the rezoning proposal to give you an idea of what this space could look like if the developers plans are approved. The community isn't feeling so great about this either. When I found out that they were trying to build some homes here, to my, my opinion, stupid. This place here is real nice, okay? You can walk your dog in here. You got a big, nice view of the school that's right here. Okay, so that's cool. You put these buildings here, now it's a cluster. Why do you want to cluster and mess this up? So no, I saw the uh, print of what the houses are. No, man, you don't need that. That's dumb. In the letter, Walsh writes that he has significant doubts regarding the developer's representation to the city, that it has the right to develop the subject lot in any capacity, much less for the purpose of constructing five townhomes. He said he always had the understanding that the lot was owned as a common area by the John Gorey condominiums. In fact, I routinely witness residents playing a game of catch or using the subject lot for recreational purposes, Walsh goes on to say in his letter. Walsh also points out discrepancy in the site plan survey for the John Gorey condominiums. In 2011, the almost quarter acre parcel of land was considered a common area. But in 2015, the site plan says the same parcel of land was not a part of the condominium and that there was an error in the original survey. Walsh suggests that this was not a simple error. He says, quote, this is essentially akin to a gated neighborhood developer selling homes that had a right to use tennis courts or parks as commonly owned. But five years later saying that was a mistake and the developer can now use that property for any purpose it wants. Go find somewhere else. Go out a little further. They're just, people are greedy nowadays and this right here is just going to make a big cluster for everybody. Here. It's going to make it ugly. Reporting in Riverside, Tiffany Salome, Channel 4, the local station. You know, the Jacksonville Planning Commission approved a zoning change in August that would allow for the homes to be built along Stockton Street. A public hearing on the proposal will be held Wednesday at the Land Use and Zoning Committee. That's scheduled for 5 p.m. The developer, John Gorey Investment Group, LLC, it's owned by the former owners of the Jacksonville Jaguars, the Weavers. That's the group who developed the condominiums across the street. Click on this story at newsforjax.com and read the full letter Walsh wrote to the city.